Kelly Worrell has always been a builder. His hands are among millions that have written the story of Michigan's proud manufacturing heritage. These days, Kelly Worrell is rebuilding himself. He grew up in mid-Michigan, in a workplace culture that had stayed essentially unchanged for generations. I hired into Federal Mogul Corporation in St. John's, Michigan, right after I graduated uh, St. John's High School when I was 18, and started off operating various lines. I probably ended up running 10 or 15 different lines in there. You know, I'm from the, a family, my dad graduated, or, uh, retired from Federal Mogul. That's how I got in there. You know, the family worked there, my uncle worked there, a lot of the people I grew up with worked there, and when it got closed, you know, they, they were all lost. They didn't know what to do. The auto parts maker had decided to shift some of its work to Mexico. In June 2007, Kelly was laid off. But before he left, Kelly faced a choice. He could either transfer to a new plant farther from home, take a pay cut and lose seniority, or he could go back to school and retrain. But the funding wasn't in place the day he was let go, so Kelly had to ride out the summer on his own. In August, the good news finally came. I mean, they called me up and said uh, money was available to start training at LCC in the fall, and I literally started school the next day after they called me. Kelly enrolled in Lansing Community College's Manufacturing, Engineering, and Technology program. After 24 years on the factory floor, Kelly saw an opportunity to try a new direction, something that would blend his old shop skills with some new software savvy. And you'll notice that it looks... Kelly chose LCC's Associate Degree program in Computer-Aided Design and he wasted no time taking on the task. He knew what he wanted to do. He was extremely focused. He packed a lot of classes in each semester, and he was committed to finishing his program within a given period of time. But Kelly's drive to excel was tempered with a bit of culture shock. I got through high school just to get through high school. Going into college was a, a totally different experience. Getting up at 7 in the morning and hitting it right into the books was totally different. I'd never done that before. Kelly's experience is common among older workers who never expected to make a course correction in mid-career. It's a testament to a stark new reality in Michigan. Stable, cradle-to-grave employment with a large company is a thing of the past. I, I see that look on their face when they walk in. They don't know where to start. I've had a job, I've been you know, uh, well-established, and I got up every day and went to work, and I've done this for years, and then the job is gone. When his moment came, Kelly Worrell didn't dwell on the past. It was a change. You can't let it just drag you down. You gotta realize this, this is what's gonna happen. You know, there was, I had no choice in the matter. Fred Mogul was closing, I had no choice. In it. it was either feel bad about it or go after it and, and do what you gotta do. Kelly graduated from the CAD program in two years so plus a semester. With his new knowledge of CNC, or computed numerically controlled machines, Kelly found a new career with Alro Steel in Potterville. Today, he programs a laser that produces precision cut steel and aluminum components. What once took hours to make by hand now takes just minutes. What I'm doing now is, is more towards an office job. I do get out on the floor where, where the machine's at, but I'm in an office, I'm sitting at a desk, I'm working on a computer all day long, I'm talking with customers and talking with salespeople, which I never did before at Federal Mogul. Kelly was hired at Alro Steel less than a week after finishing school. It was very much a right place, right time scenario, both for him and his new employer. We're a company that tries to look for those opportunities to grow, even in times when it's difficult. Uh, Kelly's situation is, is a result of a specific opportunity we had uh, for some uh, new equipment, and we had a desire and a need for people to help us be uh, productive with that equipment. Kelly's skill set matched our need, and it was uh, a pretty quick marriage, if you will. Kelly's story demonstrates the merger of Michigan's budding information economy and its traditional manufacturing roots. Higher education lies at the intersection. Gordon Belt says the most successful workers and the most successful businesses are fluent in both worlds. We've seen very talented individuals that have been on the shop floor for many, many years. They're well versed in machining, but have no computer skills. Um, that's a challenge. Vice versa, if we've also seen computer whiz, you know, uh, Students come in that they know they can just run circles around us with you know their computer skills, yet they don't have the manufacturing experience. They don't understand what it takes to, to cut metal, aluminum, and tool steel, and some of the things that, that we're working with. Um, so it's usually up to um, the program to try and sort those things out, focus on uh, the areas that need improvement, and help the individual be successful. 
Kelly concedes that he was nervous about going back to school and starting over. But he firmly believes his work ethic and the time he spent making connections in school and in the workforce have paid dividends. I got two boys that live with me. They've been very supportive of this. My oldest son is in college now, so he's, he's learning what I've been going through for the last two years. You know, my family, every time I tell them my grades, they can't believe that I'm getting, you know, I graduated with about a 3.7 GPA, which never would have happened if I'd have gone out of high school. And they're all very supportive of it. Local support for WKAR's By the People Hard Times Hard Choices project is provided by McNeil Lehrer Productions, the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, and the Rockefeller Brothers Fund.